Jesus, God, the Word was with God, the Word was God, He was in the beginning with God, all things may, were made through Him, He made the world, and then came into the world, it was not accepted in the world, and was even crucified and, and killed, and this was all part of His plan to show His infinite love for all of us, and He leaves with us, what does He leave us? He leaves himself in the Eucharist. He leaves himself in his church. He leaves himself in his sacraments. He leaves himself in, in his teachings, in the scriptures, in his teachings, which are proclaimed each day, which we live. He is our God. He is our life. And in the gospel today, he is our light. He is our, our light that the darkness has not overcome. The light shines in the darkness. And this world is kind of full of darkness. It's full of uh, evil. It's full of no hope. If you don't have Jesus, you don't have life. You don't have hope. You have darkness. You, have, you don't have the way. You don't have the truth. You don't know what to live for, except for whatever you create for yourself, which is usually uh, not much to live for. Jesus is not only the light in our life, but he is the love of our life. He's the love of our life. So everything is so full and beautiful and full of life brimming, uh, overflowing with life and love and hope and joy and life. And that's what we have in this life. Think of what it's going to be like in the next life. All the fruition of everything good that happened in this life that we did and that we experienced. So we really should uh, take inventory of all that we have been given by Jesus, by God, um, all the gifts, all the teachings. and Because really, if you live by the teachings and the philosophy of Christianity, it's amazing. Read the gospel. Read, read the gospels. The teachings of Jesus are amazing. Who would ever teach you to treat, to treat, uh, to die for your neighbor, to forgive seventy times seven, to give the shirt off your back, give him your cloak as well, turn turn your cheek if he punt, somebody hits you on one one side, give him the other side to strike. <clears throat> Who would teach you all the beautiful teachings of Jesus? Nobody, only God. Only God became flesh. And he continues these beautiful teachings, and it's all alive. It's all alive and made real and personal. And you read the scriptures, and it'll strike you today for your life today, what you, you personally, individually, uniquely are doing. It will apply to you specifically, because everything is full of life, the word, the word of God. And he strikes, strikes us with his word, and he's with us in our soul. He's with us. He keeps us alive. He's abiding with us in our soul. Our Lady we have, and all the angels and saints to help us. All the teachings of the Church, which become deeper and real and full of so much wisdom to guide us through life. And all of this, again, is just this life. All the things that God has given us in this life and in the church, and we have the, <clears throat> the real life, the fullness of life and the next life which we are living for. All this began in, uh, in, in the stable at Bethlehem where we saw Jesus, we saw the Word become flesh, how he humbled himself in this beautiful way, humbling himself throughout his whole life into his death and crucifixion, all for you and me. So we are so full of gratitude and thankfulness each day, and we give back to God our entire life, all of our life, that we live entirely for Jesus. Jesus is our life. He is our light and our love, those three L's which we uh, live by. We live by Jesus himself and Our Lady who brings us to him and keeps us close to him, united to him, so that we don't lose him, Jesus and Mary. So we're full of gratitude and uh, 
give back to God all the love of our hearts and life and actions. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh,